Welcome to the 2023 USA Archery Indoor Nationals Final Championship Gold Medal Match. Chuck Cooley along with Jesse Broadwater. What do you think, Jesse? It's been an exciting set of matches so far, and this one here I believe is going to be just as exciting. This is going to be a lot of fun. This is the Bear Bow Division. Bear Bow is quite a bit different than what we've been watching yeah. uh, all day long. So Bear Bow, uh, very competitive, very popular division. It's, yeah. it's been exploding. Mm -hmm. Um, and Lancaster Archery, we have to really thank them for that. Lancaster Archery really made sure that this was going to happen. Um, the money, the prize money that was uh, that's available to these guys, I got to look this up. Welcome I, I apologize. in to Ooh, the by. final, final gold medal match, Barebo Men. On target two, Marcus Cooley. On target one and shooting first, Robbie Weisinger. Marcus Cooley, no relation. I was going to ask. <laughs> I didn't know if no. that was your cousin no. or what there. No. It's, uh, oh, those are some cool looking flunches. Looks like two tones. Yeah. Uh, but at any rate, look, we, you know, it's important to, to thank Lancaster Archery because the prize money that's available to these guys yeah. uh, or these men or women because it's a combined division uh, was all donated by Lancaster Archery. $2,500 for first place, $1,250 for second, $650, $500, $250 all the way down to eighth place. Yeah, it is the top eight uh, bare bow shooters in the country. Now, yeah, so you're looking at Robbie this is Robbie right here. I've seen him around a lot, and he's a pretty well-known barebow shooter. And then um, you got Marcus. I'm not too familiar with him, mm -hmm. um, but these guys are going to put on a show right here. It's amazing to see. <laughs> like they're shooting 18 meters, no help at all, no sight, no peep, no, no stabilizer, nothing, and they're hitting like that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't it's, do that. No. No. It's. It is. It is the essence of archery. It is a stick and string. Your fingers and no stabilizers, no sights. Yep. Um, you can see that they're sighting down the arrow. Now the bare bow guys and this this whole bare bow contingent. I say bare bow guys, but it's really a bit the bare bow family. Um, okay. It's it's really incredible the dedication and the skill level uh, that the these archers put on. I I absolutely couldn't do it, and it's a lot of fun when you go to tournaments. Yeah. These guys are having a party. Yeah, I was gonna say these. That, like the barebow shooters, you can definitely tell when they're around. Like they're hooting and hollering and having a good time, and that's what it should be about. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, you can definitely tell when they're around. I've seen quite a few in Vegas walking around. I mean, this one guy had a basically a, a Bluetooth speaker hanging off his quiver, and he was just blasting music <laughs> walking around. I mean, he was just all about it. So pretty uh, dynamic group of people here. And well, I've seen him in Lancaster, and it's, it's like going to a – a college basketball game. Yeah. I mean, the, the arena in there is just electric. Yeah, they, they like to have fun, and, you know, that's what this division's all about. That's what all the divisions should be about, but these guys, they got it down. They know how to do it. They epitomize it because if you miss, it's okay. Yeah, it's pretty much. Like, yeah, I don't have a cider, a stable lot. Like, what do you expect? They got you know? nothing. It's, it is, it's, it's what archery was in the 40s and 50s and, right. and, and centuries ago. It's a stick and string and fingers. But if you look at, you know, just what both those guys shot, but Robbie, I mean, what, he shot a 27? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's crazy. Now, that's not to say that the equipment that they're using is simple, inexpensive, right? not technical. They're both shooting. It's, uh, it's just they're missing some accessories, that's all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, the equipment that they're running, the, the Hoyt equipment that both of those guys are running, right? I think both of them are shooting Hoyts. I believe I know so, Mar yes. I know Marcus is. I can't see Robbie's bow. Yeah, I believe they're both. Um, I think. I don't know. I can't see right now. But yeah, um, it's Hoyt limbs on his bow. Yeah. But but the technology in that riser, I mean, that that is a specialized riser that's mm -hmm. built for bare bow. Look at that. Look at that. Just Dead center. piped it. That's they, crazy. They add extra weight to the bottom of the riser to make it sit differently. Yeah, um, so what is it? They can only have weight so far from the bow. So, mm -hmm. you know, you look at the little gob of weight below their handle, right, you know, where their hand is on the bow. That's all the amount of weight that they can have protruding from the bow. Um, so they try to weight it down a little bit because a little bit of weight does help you hold steadier. But yeah, they, they actually have, so a, they have like a donut, like a ring uh -huh. that they pass over that bow. Yep. 
and the, the entire bow has to fit within the constraints of that donut yeah. to be legal. So you can't have the weight sticking way out in front. Right. Deep breath here. 20 seconds to make the shot. Marcus shooting some X-10 arrows, the most expensive um, arrow on the planet. Look at that. Good shooting from I'm going to say that's a 28. I love those veins, those two-tone feathers. Yep. Yeah, Robbie's shooting a little bigger, uh, all-carbon arrow, it looks like. Um, so a little different arrow selection there from the two, but... Yep, V-Force. Okay, there you go. Some mm -hmm. big old feathers on there. Then you got what they call spin wing veins on uh, Marcus's X-10 arrows, which a lot of recurve shooters shoot and everything. It just kind of helps um, with clearance and kind of get the... You know, they, they shoot a different style of rest than, say, a compound shooter shoots. Um, so you have to get clearance around. So your, your arrow spine selection and your tuning and arrow length and point weight, all that's pretty critical with a recurve or a bare bow setup like this. And they're all trying to get the arrow to basically bend around that rest so it's not plowing into it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's... And those spin wings help give the arrow rotation, which yep. makes it recover and be a little more accurate. Yep. Yes, you'll see these guys when they... So these guys also do set points or set scoring because it is a, uh, a recurve type division. Yep. When uh, we were watching some of the matches earlier today, they were cumulative scoring, mm -hmm. right? So it's a race to 150. And this is set point scoring. So whoever scores the most points for those three arrows gets two points. Yep. If they tie, it's a point apiece. And uh, the loser uh, obviously gets zero. In the right now, it's tied 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, all tied up. Good shot from Robbie in the nine. Just a mm -hmm. little tall from the ten. But mm. It's a seven for Marcus there. but. Yep, you can see he looks back at his coach. Kind of gives him a nod. That's a well, that's interesting because yeah. I think he was shooting at the middle dot. And right. he hit the bottom dot. But it's okay to shoot them out of order. So you can, okay. Yep. He's not required. I wasn't sure about that. Yep. He's not required to shoot them in a vertical order as long as there's only one arrow in each spot. Yeah. So now okay. he's got to shoot the middle spot, which is out of his sequence. He shot the bottom one. He shot the bottom one. He's got two arrows in the same spot. I don't, maybe you have to, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if you have to shoot them. Quick, in where's our rule four. sheet? Yeah, right. I don't know if our rules... Uh, we'll find out here in a minute. We're going to find out, yeah, for sure. Good shot. Every, you know, all a little low left from, from Marcus right there. He needs to give his internal sight adjustment. But other than that, great shooting. Well, we're going to find out in a minute what happened there. I, th I, th I thought for sure you had to have one arrow in each dot. But maybe with Barabo you don't. I'm not sure. This is where we need a technical official to stand in like they do at the NFL and go, right. here's the rule. That's right. I mean, we're, missing a, we're missing that guy. So the guys in the box don't look foolish because they don't know the rules <laughs> for bear bow. <laughs> we'll find out here in just a second. Okay. I think, I think the, act, the judge down there is asking. Yeah, he's calling it he's in on the radio. Sure. Yeah. So I don't feel so bad now. Yeah. I'm not sure. The guys in the trailer also left it blank. I think they're still discussing. Yeah, there's pretty good communion going on down there. Well, let's see. So two, to, two to four. So, however it worked out, okay, so Marcus, uh, Marcus got the two points. Okay. So, my hunch would be that one of those arrows didn't count. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you have to have one in each spot. So, regardless. There you go. Nine, six, miss. Okay. That's the official scoring. So, yeah, you do have to have one arrow in each spot. Which, now, which do you know how hard that is with, with a bare bow? I, I, I'd be lucky to hit that four by four foot target butt down there. <laughs> Look at that. You'd be putting arrows in the sponsor screens. Oh, yeah. Is that what you're saying? Pretty much. He's low left again for Marcus. I wonder. 
Uh, he's just got to aim a little bit different, I guess. You know, he could win it right here. He could, yep. But 10, 9 Rob, maybe? Robbie's not, not making it easy on him, that's for sure. No, for sure. Because Marcus came out of the gate with an 8. So you can see how low he angers below the arrow. That's just to get his right alignment. Nice that's shot. That's solid a solid there. 10. To get the right alignment, you know, for his basically aiming system that he uses, you have to kind of... What they call a crawl. Yep, crawl down the string. Yep. Solid 9 from Robbie. 10, 9, 9 maybe? I'm going to give that a 28. Okay, Marcus. Let's see what you got, Marcus. Look at that. <laughs> 10, 10, 28. Eight, 28. We could so be tied. So it would be, if we are tied, then it would be 5 3, and it's a race to 6. Yep. So we're going to get one more match, or one more end. I'm thinking. That's fantastic. Unless, I mean, is Robbie's in? If it's if if Robbie's, it depends not on what they call that middle arrow. Yeah, if that's an eight, then then I believe Marcus may have won. But I think it's a nine. Looks like they're still getting we're ready to find shoot. Find out in a minute because the the officials they've got an earpiece there and they call the scores into the truck so that we have a. That's where our graphic gets filled out from. 6-2. Let's see. Let's watch the judge. Oh. Yeah, I think they got it wrong on the on the screen right now because they're still shooting, I believe. I think it's 5-3. Yeah, it looks like they changed it down on the target butts to 5-3. On the so. butts, it is 5-3. So we're going another round. If, if Marcus, obviously, if, if Marcus gets higher points than Robbie on this one, then he'll be the winner. But Well, if it's a tie... Well, if it's a tie, he wins as well. If they tie, it, uh, yep. So all he's got to do is tie. Robbie goes up first because he's the lower scorer. So he leads. That's an eight for his first arrow. And a seven. So Robbie leading right now. Eight. So 16 to start. Visualize that shot. Yep. See, so he has his eyes closed, and then he comes back to the target. A little bit different anchor there. Did you see that? His finger was yeah. in tighter to his teeth. I did notice something different there. Okay. Three eights. 24 for Robbie. There are sevens and a six. That's going to go to Robbie. Same to Robbie, so. Yep, so it's going to be 5-5. Five, five. Five, five. We're going to get one more end. <laughs> oh, man. These guys are good. And this is this is why Barbo is so much fun, because you see these big, giant swings. Yeah, exactly. Right? Robbie missed, completely missed a yep. target, and is still, and all of yep. a sudden. Uh, we're tied. All of a sudden, he's got a chance to win it. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's what makes this Barbo group so much fun. We want to say, see a single arrow shoot off. That's I do. I want to. I want it to go to a shoot off. We haven't had a shoot off all day. <laughs> I know. Normally we do. Yeah, usually we do. Do you prefer those? I, when I'm shooting, no. <laughs> I'd rather just win outright by like ten points. But as a spectator, of course, you want to see all the drama you can. Now, in a shoot off, do you want to be the first guy or the second guy? You see, I, I've. I can get. It depends on who I'm against. Really? You know, because I kind of, you know, if I'm against someone I know and kind of know how they are, it, it just depends. Ah. A lot of people want to go first, like, because I want to, you know, they feel like I want to get my arrow down there, get a good shot down there to make them look at it, and then them have to match it. But sometimes you can go the other way, too, you know. Let that pressure fall on them to execute. Yeah. Nice. And, you know, and then wait to see what they do, and then, so. So you prefer to? It depends. depends so if you, and I, are, if, you, if, if you, you and I are in a shoot-off, I'm going to let you go first. <laughs> this you and I are in the shoot off. <laughs> and I'm going to stare at you. I'm going to turn around and just look at and you. Giggle. And just stare at you. <laughs> giggle as I shoot a nine. <laughs> All right. We're tied up. It's either one. Either one can win this. Right here, so.
So who did he say? I think Robbie's going to go first, right? Because he's the number one seed. I think. I think so, yeah. Because we're tied, I think Robbie goes first. And again, 20 seconds per arrow. <clears throat> see Marcus is standing there. You can't see this on camera, but we can see it. He's standing there with his eyes closed, completely visualizing what he's going to do. Oh, wow. Okay. Robbie comes out of the gate with a good center 10. Oh, man. Yeah. Nope. Oh, it was a one arrow shoot. Yeah, it was a one arrow. So Robbie, wow. Robbie nailed it. Very cool. That was some good shooting right there. That was fantastic. Congratulations. And it's official. The judge signals that Robbie Weisinger yeah. is going to win that. Excited. And he wins the, uh, the Barebow division here. Uh, grand total prize money uh, from Lancaster Archery, $2,500 for first place, $1,250 to second place. That'll go to Marcus Cooley.